Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about simplifying rational exponents. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 25b to the 6th power, all to the negative 1.5 power, and we got to simplify it. Well, let's go write this instead of a negative 1.5 power, but to a negative 3 halves. So I kind of like dealing with fractions here. So we have 25 b to the sixth, all to the negative, well, three halves power here, okay? Now our rules with exponents, we, well, for multiplying that out, we're distributing essentially to both parts here, this being multiplied. So to do that, we have 25 to the negative three halves power times b, make sure I don't lose my place here, b to the 6 gets multiplied by the negative 3 halves, and so it's 6 times a negative 3 halves like this, and that's all to the power. Well, how can we simplify this? Well, a negative exponent means it going to goes down to the denominator, okay, so we're going to have 1 over, and 25 is going to be here, and that makes out the positive 3 halves. Now, we're going to take the 1 half, the 2 down here, equates to the square root, and then all that to the third power. Hopefully you can see that, right? Square root is the one half and the third power right there. Negative, brought it down. Multiply it by. We'll simplify here. Six times negative three is a negative 18. And we still have over two. Well, keep going here. Uh, square root of 25 is five. So we have one over five to the third power times, and then, well, Hopefully we can kill two birds with one stone here. Negative 18 over 2 is a negative, well, 9. Then we can put this as 1 over b to the positive 9th power. All right. Lastly, let's go multiply all this out. We have 1 over, all one big thing, multiplied it out. Well, 5 to the 3rd power is 125. And then we just have b to the 9th power. And so my final answer here is 100, 1 over 125 b to the ninth power. I hope the video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math.